And that's what's going on in Acts chapter 4. That's the dynamic. Because they had spent time with Jesus, they couldn't stop sharing. And because of that, a miracle took place in that little community of believers. A miracle. And it's a miracle that I'm praying for our church. I want, I want that miracle to happen in our church. It said because of the boldness of, of Peter and John, all the believers were united in heart and mind. And they felt that what they owned was not their own, so they shared everything that they had. And the apostles, they testified powerfully to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's great blessing was upon them. And there were no needy people among them because those who owned land or or houses would sell them, and they would bring money to the apostles to give to those in need. It was an amazing miracle of God. That's what was happening in that church in the book of Acts. I want to encourage you with something. Maybe you haven't had a chance to look at this commitment card, but if you have, you might have noticed there's a little box kind of toward the end. And, and you know, we want every, every person at Compass, every family to pray over this card. And, and some of you, again, are going to be here next Friday night for Advanced Commitment Night. I want to encourage you with that. We, we would be so encouraged to see lots of people there, both in person and online. And and we want to encourage you with that. But also, many of you will come down three weeks from now for Commitment Weekend. And and hopefully, you'll you'll have taken a moment to pray over what your commitment will be. But there's a box here toward the end called Stored Resources. I've had people ask me, what what exactly is that? Well, we just read about stored resources. We just read that people who owned land or, or houses would sell them and they would bring the proceeds, and they would bring the money to the church. And I just want to encourage you to pray about something that you love that you'd be willing to give up for something you love more, God's amazing mission and God's amazing church. I just want to encourage you with that today because that's potentially a big part. So many of us, we've been so blessed. God has blessed us with so much. And perhaps there's something that that you do care about and you do love, but maybe you could give it up for the sake of an unstoppable initiative. I I read those verses that we just read in Acts chapter four, and my prayers go like this. Lord, let that be the future for Compass. Let that kind of unity, let that, that kind of generosity, let that kind of blessing, let that kind of provision, let that be our future. 